ladies and gentlemen, cast and crew, principals and chorus members. For those of you that know me, feel free to bask in my aura and celestial glory. Indeed, it is I, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. Please, feel free to take a moment. On behalf of the National Broadcasting Company, your NBC, I believe, <laughs> I have been asked to address this first rehearsal for Starlight Express live. <laughs> Indeed, it is our honor and privilege to be in this theatrical arena, this great musical theater coliseum, this holy sound stage. <laughs> when I first began writing Starlight Express, I wanted to write the next great musical. About trains. <laughs> Why trains, they ask me. Why trains that fall in love? <laughs> Some have suggested that yes, this was back during the 70s, and yes, this was back during the time of disco. <laughs> Some have suggested me of suffering from pure madness. Others have suggested divine genius. Most have suggested drugs. <laughs> drugs, you say? I say yes. <laughs> I mean, my dear, can you imagine a mountain of cocaine as high as the Swiss Alps? No, I say go higher. <laughs> as in the Himalayas. And what climbs mountains? Trains. I mean, they go round and round, up and down. They think they can, they think they can, they think they can. Choo choo, you heathens. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, when I began writing this great masterpiece, I wanted everything. Music, trains, disco balls, trains, roller skates, more trains, dangerous ramps in which my cast may injure themselves night after night after night for eight shows a week. More trains! <laughs> Now, I must remind all of you that we will be broadcasting this live on television in your high definition, <laughs> your HD, I believe. It will be difficult. It will be strenuous. I mean, you, Mr. Justin Bieber, as Rusty, you must be fully convincing that you are both full of heart and pathos. <laughs> you, Miss Carly Ray Jepsen. As Pearl, you must dazzle the audience into believing that you're a lonely entity looking for love with her dream fella. And you're both trains. <laughs> now, we must ask ourselves, what does a train want? They want to race. Yes. Trains need to race. Trains have to race even if their fathers won't let them. Papa. <laughs> Most of all, we must all work together on this titanic work of art that will be aired on Mother's Day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> yes, it will be tough. For most of you, this will be the pinnacle of your careers. We must remember why we do this. We do it for the love of the craft. We do it for the love of the audience. We do it for the love of a musical about trains that race around circles and circles and circles, all in a little boy's dream. <laughs> I miss the drug. 